So it says conjunction quiz Wednesday on Socrative. So there's going to be a couple different parts of your quiz. We've been learning about all the different types of conjunctions. And the first main part is going to say, find the conjunction in the sentence. So you will get a sentence and it will actually say, find the fanboy conjunction or find the swabby conjunction or find the same old conjunction, whatever it says. It will say that. And then you will have to choose A, B, C, or D for the conjunction, right? So, for example, if I had a sentence that said, um, Sam got skates, uh, Legos, and a robot for her birthday. You would be given a bunch of different choices to choose from. Anna, what is the conjunction in this sentence? The conjunction is and. Yes, it is and. Now, did anyone think it was for? Because for is also one of our fanboy conjunctions. But in this sentence, I see a couple like heads going like this. In this sentence, is for being used as a conjunction though? Is it combined? No, look at all those head shakes. No. It's being used as what we call a preposition. It's not combining anything. It's not being used like the word because. Remember, for fanboy conjunctions, for would be, um, it would have to be used with the word because. You might say, um, my eraser. I lost my eraser. Okay, well, here we go. Uh, if I said, uh, Sam got skates, Legos, and a robot for... It was her birthday. Then, yes, that would also be a conjunction because it's like the word because. So we're looking for words that combine phrases, clauses, and words. And that's what it is. So on the quiz, it will say, find the fanboy conjunction or find the swabby conjunction. But I'm not going to throw a bunch of different conjunction types up there for you. It will really be the only one in the sentence. Okay? What questions do you have about find the conjunction? How do you find a conjunction? No hands, no questions. Uh, Anna. Um, so for this, um, will, will we, like, for, like, find the conjunctions will be every single list that we've done, like the fanbos and the fanboys and the all those? Fanboys, it'll be correlative, the Genovese, thanks Morgan, um, the, um, shout out to Morgan, uh, the Genovese, it will be the Swabies, it'll be the Thamos, but I'm not going to put a bunch of different, I'm not going to put three different types of conjunctions in there and make you figure out which one it is. It's just going to be a conjunction, I will tell you what type it is. Does that make sense to everybody? Thumbs up, thumbs down? Yeah. Thumbs medium? Okay. Luca, are you practicing magic or are you raising your hand? <laughs> Yeah, he does practice magic sometimes. I, I mean, both are important. I just want to make sure I got it. All right. Okay. So find the conjunction is going to be um, the first part. And actually, I wanted to um, call up your quiz so I make sure that I'm – not that I'm looking right at it or anything right now as I'm talking to you on this <laughs> test. Um, teacher login. So the first section is find the conjunction. And we'll do a couple more um, uh, samples of that. Here we go. All right. So find the conjunction. It's going to ask you the definition of a conjunction, but again, you'll be given choices. Um, yeah, correlatives, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so there's about 20 what is the conjunction in the sentences. Oh, even more, 20, yeah. Um, so I was really nice to you, and I didn't do too many, but there are going to be a couple of um, where does the comma go, right, because it's very important. Um, and here was the biggest mistake up, oh, Christian hand. No, all right. Um, a, a big mistake people were making with conjunctions was this. Is they would say something like, um, it was raining, so we stayed inside. Okay, and raise your hand and tell me where does the where does the comma go 
in this sentence? Where does the comma go? Evelyn, where's the comma go? Um, after raining. Yeah, after raining, here. Now, a lot of times, I don't know if it's an EFS thing, I don't know if it's a, if it's a Buffalo thing, or maybe it's just because sometimes we get so dramatic. A lot of kids try to put the comma after the conjunction, and that is not right. Um, you do not want it after the conjunction. It goes comma conjunction, comma conjunction, comma conjunction. So um, I know it. So we would say it was raining. So we stayed inside. You are combining two different thoughts. It was raining and we stayed inside. So for our fanboys conjunctions, their rule is comma conjunction. Next year, we'll learn about the other conjunctions that, that have other rules. Um, and you did that on that little sentence sheet where they had like the semicolon and the comma or all that other fancy stuff. But for right now, we're going to stick kind of with these. So, um, so if I had a sentence that said, uh, and, and a lot of times commas come in the middle, but they can come other, other places. So if I said something like, um, there were puddles after it rained. So even a small, short, simple sentence like this has a conjunction. Eleanor, what's the conjunction in that sentence? Um, Someone's whispering. After, wait. After, yeah, after is my conjunction. Yeah, after is my conjunction. I have two complete thoughts. There were puddles and it rained. Now, what if I kept the same kind of sentence? What if I kept it pretty close? what if I just change the orders? What if I said, after it rained, there were puddles? Can I have a conjunction at the beginning of my sentence? Thumbs up, thumbs down. I can have a conjunction. So I see a couple, yeah, I see, I see this, I see this, and I see. <laughs> so yeah, so yes, you can have a conjunction at the beginning of your sentence as long as you have the comma in between the two. So I can say, after it rained, there were puddles. So your conjunctions might actually come after, or at the very beginning of the sentence. So it may not come smack in the middle, all right? So um, let's try a couple more. What if I had something like, we listened well, therefore, we did well. You can give me Lily. What do you got? What's the conjunction? You got to unmute. I, I could read your lips and you did have it right though, but go ahead and unmute. Therefore. Therefore. Good. It combined. We listened well and we did well. Good. Uh, one more of these, then I'm going to do another comma one. So we also have, let's try one. How about this? Ooh, this is the big one where teachers have told you how many thumbs up, thumbs down. Down. How many of you have had a teacher who have told you don't start a sentence with the word because? Yeah. All right. Let me show you. Actually, you can. Whoop. Let me write it right. Because I know conjunctions, I can start a sentence this way. What's the conjunction? What's the conjunction? Someone I haven't heard from. Alejandro. Every teacher here. Alejandro, what's my conjunction? Because I know conjunctions, I can start a sentence this way. Because? Got it, man. Because. And this is the correct way to start a sentence with the word because. Because. I have two complete thoughts. I have because I know conjunctions, and I can start a sentence this way. Here's why we tell you not to do it, though. The reason that you find that we have told you not to do it is sometimes people put it, the period here, and then they start the sentence. Eleanor, you're, like, really excited. Tell me. Well, like, normally for because you would split it because, like, um, it rained because it was cloudy. Yeah, and so a lot of people start a new sentence with it, right? They say, I can start a sentence this way 
because I'm smart, right? And that would be wrong because because I'm smart is a, fra is a fragment. So if I put it at the beginning with a comma, it's fine. But this is the way people do it wrong all the time. So we're going to be looking for commas. Um, we also talked really quickly with fanboys about using commas when we have a list, right? Something like, um, I will bake brownies, cupcakes. I know everyone's doing a lot of baking or uh, cookies. Where do I need commas? Where should I be putting commas? Do I need commas? Where should I put them, Margaret? I can't see the your sentence. Um, uh, I will, I will be brown. Comma after brownies. Yep. And after cookies. Yes. And after cookies. Just after. And cookies. Right. We do not need one here. Not one there. Just there. We just before the things before the conjunction. I will bake brownies comma, cupcakes, comma, or cookies. Some people say you don't need this comma. I like to say that, yes, you do. Eleanor. So basically, or can take the place and. Oh, yeah, because it's a point conjunction, yeah. So don't forget, and uh, any of these, oops, the word's right, cook my goodie. Any of these fanboys have the same rule. Um, and that's a good point. Um, you want to make sure that you're using the correct conjunction for the job. If I say I will bake brownies, cupcakes, or cookies, how many things am I going to be making? I'm going to choose to make what? One item, either the brownies or, or the cupcakes or the cookies. Now, if I were making all of them, then I would put and. So such a small change changes your day, right? If you're doing this, you're going to be in the kitchen all day. Right? You're doing this. And then a little bit of a shorter time. Morgan? When you said cookies, my mind started playing the disco version of C's for cookie, and I don't know why. My brain does that very often, too. <laughs> the last name like cookie being called cookie not so All right. So, um, so that is those. Any other questions about conjunctions? Finding the conjunctions of the sentence or making sure you have the comma or you need it? Awesome. All right, good. Okay, so then the other one, so we did find the conjunction. Where's the comma? And then interjections. I had a really good question from one of you the other day on my live chat, and they said, are interjections part of this unit? And I just want to be clear that interjections are part of this unit, but they're a different part of speech, right? So a different part of speech. So I'm seeing some chats here and I missed a few. Is everyone, I see lots of okays. Are these questions? Why are we doing okay, 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 okay? Right. So let's not that, okay? Okay, oh, is that because I say okay 15,000 times perhaps? Are we keeping track? All right, uh, uh, Alejandro, around 30 to 36. So interjections are a totally separate part of speech. But because it's such a short unit, I throw it in with conjunctions. Really, it's basically what we said. We said uh, interjection, show excitement, emotion, set apart from a sentence by an exclamation point or by a comma when not as strong. Boom, that's an interjection. So Morgan said she's confused by interjections. So let's take a look. So if I am walking down my house and I stub my toe, I often shout an interjection and we just hope it's PG. So I'm walking down, the, I'm walking down and I go, ow! I stubbed my toe. Now, even if you get stuck and you say, okay, wait a minute, I have a problem because I have an exclamation point, and I have two words that end with an exclamation point. I have ow, and I have toe, okay? So we have one of these words, though, that is set apart from the sentence. It's not an important part of the sentence. Is toe an important part of the sentence, or is ow an important part of the sentence? 
Eleanor, what is it? Ow. Ow is my interjection because toe is part of my sentence. It's not set apart. It's just a word that ends with an exclamation point. Okay, hold the chatting down, guys, unless you have a question. Thank you. It's like talking in class. Naughty, naughty. So um, an interjection can come at the beginning of the sentence. It can come anywhere in the sentence or it can come at the end, especially if you have one that's with commas. So just me saying everyone quiet down. Okay, what is my interjection in everyone, shh, quiet down? Liam, what's my interjection? Shh, Liam, what's my interjection? Shh, it's as quiet as I can get. Liam, what's my interjection? <laughs> Just kidding, yeah. So the interjection is shh, right. So interjection is shh. So it can come in the middle of the sentence. Now, if you were writing this down, you would also include the punctuation. You would be shh, comma, right? You would want to make sure that you include the uh, punctuation. I can't wait till I find where my eraser actually is. And then it could also come at the end of the sentence. It could also come at the end of the sentence. So it might have something. It might have something where it says, um, Look out. Um, there's a spider. Unmute for a second and tell me what is the interjection. Go ahead, un unmute. Go ahead, one. Eat. That is your quiz in a nutshell. What are your Questions, raise your hands. Hi, Chad, nice to see you. What are your questions? Let me see those hands. Eleanor, what's your question? So if it's not like, um, if it's like a little one, like, oh, there's a, like, if it's not a strong one, there would be a comma seven instead of an exclamation point. 100%, so if I said, oh, look at, that flower, right? That would be like a comma, like, oh, look at that flower. If I said, oh, there's an escaped lion, that would probably get an exclamation point, right? So you as the author choose the strength. Lily. Yeah. How, uh, what is the, uh, what is the... So for the quiz, one of mm -hmm. the questions, would they be like, fine, what's the punctuation of the interjection or no? No, it would probably say fine, but if it, I don't think I did this to you, but if you just said, oh, with no punctuation, that would be wrong, right? You have to have the whole thing. I don't think I did that to you. Um, you know what that happens, Lily, is when we do the exam and you have to write the interjection, mm -hmm. there's always people who would forget to put the punctuation at the end. But this okay. is just going to be a multiple choice. So just make sure you have that, that that's okay. Morgan, okay. Five, question. Morgan. So basically, the way with the comma and um, the exclamation point, it's sort of like in the video of interjections, where it's like, there's that lady, and this guy keeps singing to her, and then he keeps kissing her hand, and then she's like, Oh, and then it shows an example after that where it's like, hey, you're kind of cute. And that has an exclamation point, but then he turns into a frog and she's like, yeah. Mm. It's dep it depends on how strong the feeling or emotion is. Yes. What other questions? Yeah. I can't tell. Vivian, what's your question? Guys, stop, Peter, stop making. I have a whole printout of all this chat. And when your parents say, why don't they understand? I'm going to send them this chat. Vivian, question. Um, so Ava can't get in. 
So it's not really a question, but she's right. FaceTiming me so she can hear the like. Yeah. Oh, what a great what a great way to do it. I'm sorry she can't get in. Um, there was a link on her Google Calendar. That would be one way to do it. Um, she can't get in that either. Okay, so 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 she can hear this. You can all hear this. At the end of this, give me an hour to have a bunch of other meetings to go to. I'm going to post this on Google Classroom. Okay, so she can also watch this, and it'll be just me. And Ava. Right. Ava, I had the same problem. Maybe like restart your iPad. All right, so we're gonna like, hold on a second, Sonia. We're gonna finish these questions because we're gonna have to go in two minutes. So, what other questions do we have? I don't see any other hands. I just see people doing their hair. All right, so it looks like you guys are pretty set. So here's what's gonna happen. In a few hours on Google Classroom, you will get a, a, a notification that I put up an assignment and it will say study for your grammar uh, test, quiz. There will be 12 links. You not have to do all those links, but you may do as many as you need. Okay, so you can that those are your resources and that will also say you have a conjunction quiz. It's going to say due on Wednesday. That's just to put it in your calendar. So, you know, it's Wednesday on Wednesday, anytime between 830 and 330, you can log on. All the instructions will be there. I will still have my office hours. If you're afraid you're going to get stuck or you don't know how to log in, you can email me. You can log in. Okay, whatever needs to happen. And if, and if you know, if heaven forbid you, something happens on Wednesday, you, can, you know, just email me. We'll figure it out together. Okay? But it'll, you'll be surprised at how quickly it comes back to you once you see it. All right, guys. Any other questions? Anna. Okay. So is the whole test multiple choice? Or there's, are there some um, um, multiple, 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 multiple choice? And I like Samantha's drawings in the back. Oh, thank you. I will tell her. Samantha, here, come say hi real quick. We've been fighting hi. to keep her back. Hi, everybody. Okay, <laughs> go eat your lunch. Uh, oh, sorry. Go put, do your stuff. All right. You can unmute real quick. I like eggs. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Hi. 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 Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye